In the German Bundesliga, Stuttgart kept their title dream alive by shattering Bayern Munich's. And once Kakao had grabbed a fortunate opener, the reigning champion's grip on their title had all but been relinquished. And another look shows how the Brazilian merely deflected Christian Lell's attempted clearance past the helpless Oliver Kahn. That goal came in the 23rd minute, and just 122 seconds later, the ball was back in the Bayern net as Kakao applied the finishing touch to Sami Khedira's inviting cross. Then a teasing centre from Ricardo Osio gave Kakao the chance to clinch his hat-trick, but this time the bar came to Munich's rescue. The one-way traffic continued after the interval, and the home side should have had a third, but Roberto Ilbert missed the target when put through one-on-one -on -one with Kahn. Werder Bremen made life hard for themselves at home to struggling Alemannia Aachen and it was the visitors who took the lead after Tim Wieser inexplicably palmed the ball into his own net following a wonderful save to deny Sergio Pinto. Now quite what Wieser was up to here is anyone's guess. Miroslav Kloser has been misfiring in recent weeks which hasn't helped Bremen's cause and once again the German international's aim went awry as he missed a glaring opportunity to restore parity. That meant the hosts had to wait until the second period to draw level, and it took a fine move to bring the goal, with Dane Daniel Jensen getting the equaliser with a neat finish. Not long later, Marcus Rosenberg beat Alexander Klitschperer to a long ball and chased it through to fire past Christian Nicht from just inside the area. In their current predicament, Arkan had to press for an equaliser, and they were caught on the break doing so as Nick desperately charged back in the vain hope of denying Diego from scoring a spectacular clincher from inside his own half. And it was so good, we're going to take another look at it. Schalke remain on course for their first ever Bundesliga crown and show no signs of letting their nerves get to them. Although against Energie Cottbus, they were ruining the form of visiting keeper Tomislav Kuklicka. The anxious wait for an opening goal lasted until the hour mark. Then the breakthrough arrived as Timo Rost blasted the ball past Kuklicka. And even in top form, there was nothing the Bosnian could do about that. After this own goal, the Veltins arena breathed a huge sigh of relief. And five minutes later, the host doubled their lead as Marcello Bordon met Lincoln's corner with a powerful header to make it 2-0 and wrap up the points. <laughs> Elsewhere in Germany, Bayer Leverkusen cruised a victory against Nuremberg. Dortmund won a crucial three points in Berlin, and Mainz earned a creditable draw at an improving Hamburg. <laughs> Still too close to call in Germany, with the top three separated by just four points. Schalke hold a slender lead, but Bremen and Stuttgart are ready to pounce. At the bottom, it's looking increasingly desperate for Borussia Mönchengladbach, who appeared destined for the drop. Mainz look like joining them, but no one else is safe yet.